everyone. Myself, I am Uma and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I'm a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hello everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will learn about two functions that is value function and values DAX function. Okay. So the first function, let's learn about value function. What this value function will does. Okay. If you see this, I have taken a table which is having the customer name and the region as well as the sales. Okay. So for each customer, the sales is repeated. So multiple sales values are there for each of the customers. Now, if I want to see the total sales, how can I get that total sales directly if I take a card here? And if I drag and drop that sales value, I have to get the total sales. OK, now let me do that. I am taking the sales here. But if you see here, I'm not getting the total sales value. OK, if I see the options also, I'm not getting the option for some average, minimum, maximum. I'm not at all getting those options. I'm just getting first, last count, distinct count. Usually in which scenarios you will get this kind of functions when you are drag and dropping a categorical value. OK, and if you observe here also, you can, you are not able to see that summation symbol for the sales, right? Means here it is treating as a text column, not a numeric column. If it is a numeric column, as soon as I drag and drop here, by default, I should get sum of sales. And if I come to this option, I have to see average sales, sum sales, min, max, those values I have to see. But I'm not seeing that because it's not in a numerical column. It is in a te text column. OK, let's see what is the data type. See, I have clicked here. If you see the data type, what it is? Text data type, right? So now this column only I wanted as a the same sales column which is there in the text column. I want a new column which will convert this text into number format. OK, so the values in this sales column is a numbers only. The numbers are there in this sales column, but the data type of this is a text. You can see this. OK, directly you can format here by selecting this column instead of text. You can format this, but instead of doing this manually, let's try to create using a DAX function value function. So let's see how we can create. Now I'll select this uh, table name. I'll go for a new column. Now I will create a sales column that is. Sales amount, I'll increase the size of this so that you can see sales amount is the calculated column which I'm creating. Now I will use something called value function. OK, see it will convert a text string that represent a number to a number. It will change the data type. So I will give this as a sales column. So now it will create me a new column with the column name sales amount that will have the sales value in terms of number, in terms of integer, but not the text. Let's see that. I'll click on enter. If you see here, now a new column is created with sales amount. OK, we can also go to this data view and we can see. Now this column is a text column and the column which we created is a decimal number basically integer numbers only since you have this decimal value automatically it created as a decimal number okay now if i want to get the total sales i can use this column right i will take one new card and now i will try to drag and drop this now are you getting the total sales See now automatically you are getting this option. Some value average, minimum, maximum, count, distinct. All these values you are getting because it's a numerical column now. It's not a text column anymore. OK, so this is the usage of value function. OK, this is the usage of value function. Now we will try to learn what is this values function. I have implemented this using value function. OK, there is also one more function called values. Let's see what values does. 
now i am taking the same table orders table now i will try to implement values function okay now i'll try to create a new table and i will see how this values function will work okay values scenario 1 i am giving okay how we can use the values function in two scenarios i will show you both value scenario 1 i am using this values table values dax function okay if you see here either you can give a table name or column name if you give a column name it will uh, return a single column table of unique values when you give a table name it will return the table with the same columns okay now let me try to give the table name orders table name i am giving this is the scenario 1 and i'll click on enter if you observe now a new table is created new table is created with the same number of columns customer name region sales sales amount see the name of this i have given as a value scenario 1 if you go and see the data also as it is whatever you have in the orders table see the rows 9994 rows as it is you are getting in the values scenario 1 table okay i just used here the function values function same number of columns you are getting same number of rows you are getting okay so this is the one usage of values function we can also use the values function in another way okay now in my order table right in my order table if you see regions there are four different regions central region east region south and west so for each customer if you see multiple regions are there so it is getting repeated right central uh, many rows are there where the values are getting repeated west region central region all this it is repeated south region now how many regions are there only those regions i want in a separate table with a separate column okay a single table it has to return me a single table with only the unique region values for that i will use this values function let's see how i can use that i'll select this table i will go for the new table again a new table i am selecting now here i will use values function scenario 2 in second scenario see how i am using this values function values function now instead of giving the table name i will give the region column why because i wanted all the unique values present in that region column in a separate table so i am taking this i'll close this and i'll click on enter okay now if you see the table is created with values scenario 2 if we go and check the table what are we having in this table we are having region wise all the unique values in that region okay so this is the usage of value function and values function value function what it is doing it is converting a text string that represents a number to a number value right that's what we have seen in the value function this is the text column and this is the number column it is converting this to a number by using the value function whereas in values function value function it is values function two scenarios we have implemented in scenario 1 as it is when you are using values of table name it is giving same number of um, records same number of columns in which the table name you are passing and in the scenario 2 using the values function if you are passing the specific column it is returning all the unique values this is about the value and values function in dax okay so please do like share and subscribe to ksr data vision for more informative videos and also uh, please watch this space for more dax functions okay thank you all